I just want you guys to feel the muscle contraction. I want you to feel that pump, okay? That's what the goal for today's workout is. Hey guys, Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic, and I've put together a full body 15 minute workout, guys. It only requires dumbbells, nothing else. You obviously don't need a lot of room. And the nice thing about today's workout is it's super simple. <laughs> you know the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid? Well, that's for me, and that's what I designed today. But before I get into the seven different exercises, because remember, it's full body. And when we hit our entire body, we have to, by default, do a lot of different exercises to hit each muscle group. But before I get to those seven exercises, I want to remind you guys about our free Facebook group, okay? Pushing 20,000 guys around the world. They're just like you and me, all right? They're in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, all right? We even got some older guys in that. And it's just a bunch of good guys. I'm in there every day. I'm the moderator, so I'm answering questions, but so is everybody else. And it's not just workout stuff. There's lots of nutrition stuff. There's injuries. There's motivation guys that have lost 50, 60, 70 pounds. There's people asking questions about my workout programs and Gary's workout programs. It's just, it's just great. And it's super simple. It's free. Okay. That's the best part of it. So even if you don't like Facebook, if you're not a social media guy, I don't give a damn. Create an account, click the link below this video. You don't even have to use your own name. You don't have to use any pictures. Just absorb all the fun goodness in the group. I promise you won't regret it. Okay, so now on to today's workout. It's gonna be done circuit style, which means we're gonna go from one exercise to the next, to the next, to the next, and we'll do all seven exercises, and then we're just gonna start back over and repeat it. So you only have to do two circuits, right? So seven exercises. You do them in order, and then you start back over at the top again, do them in order, and you're done. Man, 15 minutes, pretty straightforward. So I've designed it so that I've, I can get both beginners and the more you know, intermediate and advanced guys can do the exact same workout. So all you beginners, just do 10 reps on each exercise. Then slowly transition to the next exercise. You don't have to rush. I want you to catch your breath between exercises. So this is not a HIT workout. This is not a high intensity interval training workout. I want you to catch your breath while you're moving and transitioning to the next exercise. And so, you know, that might take 30 seconds, maybe even up to a minute to catch your breath, but no more than a minute. Now for, for you more advanced guys that are in better shape, just do the exact same workout, but instead do 15 reps on every exercise. And you guys, same thing. This is not a hit style workout. So catch your breath as you're moving and getting ready to do the next exercise. All right. And for you guys, that might only take 30 seconds to catch your breath. All right. But so don't rush it. All right. This is not going to be one of those ball buster workouts where you just can barely get through it. All right. This is basically just hitting all the different muscle groups, but we're doing it kind of quick and efficient, all right? We're not gonna waste, you know, 30, 40 minutes, all right? This is one of these kind of, you know, go-to workouts you can do when you don't have much time and you just gotta get the heck out of there. This is super simple, guys. All right, so I'm just gonna step you through all seven exercises so you know what to do, in what order, and how to do them, all right? Number one, let's hit our legs with some goblet squats, okay? Remember, everything is done with just a dumbbell today. So I'm going to hold the dumbbell basically on the top flange like this and hold it nice and close to you, okay? And, and then basically it's just a straightforward squat. And when, when you guys start your squat, this is the only thing I want you to think about. Butt out. So that's the first move. You stick your ass out, and then everything else just kind of takes care of itself straight up and down. Ass out. So if your ass doesn't go out at the beginning, if you start to do this, see how you lean forward naturally? So when you stick your ass out at the very beginning, then it prevents you from bending forward at your waist. And it, it puts you or forces you into a, a really good position where you won't hurt your back. All right. So beginners just knock out 10 of these. You more advanced guys, 15 reps. Put the dumbbell down, catch your breath. You can even look at your watch. 
All right, take your time because we're gonna move on to exercise number two. And I want your breath to be back to almost normal when we start the next exercise. Okay, so the next exercise is gonna be focusing on our chest. And we're just gonna be doing some basic chest presses, okay? So if you have a bench, do it on the bench. You get a better range of motion, all right? I'm gonna be doing them on the ground, but even if you guys don't have a bench, you can also grab a cushion off your couch, put it down, and lay on the cushion between your shoulder blades. It'll get your back up off the ground a little bit, just a few inches, and that means you'll have more range of motion. Now, I'm not gonna do it here, all right? I'm just gonna show you the basic movement, but experiment. I, I think you guys, if you put a cushion behind you, okay, or a thick pillow behind, you know, in between your shoulder blades, when you come down, your elbows will be able to get deeper behind your back and the more range of motion, the better, okay? So here we go, just some straight forward. And I don't put my legs flat like this. I, I bring my feet up here my, at about a 90 degree angle and my feet are flat on the ground and just, it's straight up and down. And you don't have to hold the dumbbells like this, like they're in a, in a straight line. All right, that's kind of an awkward position actually for your shoulder joint. So I want you to, twist the dumbbells and this is going to put your shoulders in a better position so that there's not as as much impingement in there and i think you guys will find that this feels a lot better especially for guys that have pre-existing shoulder issues okay so beginners just knock out 10 of these more advanced guys I want you to do 15, and then whether you're a beginner or advanced, pick a weight that's fairly difficult to do for either 10 or 15 reps. So for you beginners, if you get to that 10th rep and you're like, you know you could do another five or six, all right, reps, then that was not a heavy enough weight. So pick a weight that's difficult but not impossible to do with good form for the prescribed number of reps. Okay, so I just finished those chest presses, and the next exercise are going to be curls. And that's a smaller muscle group, which means I can't use as much weight. All right. So, you know, while I'm catching my breath, all right, I can change the weight. All right, you guys who have adjustable dumbbells like me, that's all it takes. But for some of you guys, you might have several pairs of dumbbells. So put those heavy ones down, catch your breath. Then go pick up the lighter weights because we're going to be doing two arm dumbbell curls. So not alternating. I want you to do both at the same time. So it's just. No swinging guys control that weight up and down. Once again, pick a weight that's going to be difficult to do for 10 reps. If you're a beginner and for the more advanced guys, pick a weight that's really hard to do for 15 reps because that's really going to burn. Okay, so while I was resting and catching my breath after uh, those curls and before we move on to the fourth exercise, I just grabbed a little swig of water. Okay, so I'm catching my breath, getting a little water and, you know, just taking my time before we get to the next exercise, which is gonna focus on our shoulders. So guys, this is gonna be a standing two-arm overhead press. A lot of times they're called military presses, but some of you guys, matter of fact, a lot of you guys have got bad shoulders and you just can't do this movement. So if you have bad shoulders, I still want you to do a shoulder exercise, but I want you guys to do lateral raises. So I'm gonna show you both exercises here. And once again, I'm not rushing, I'm catching my breath, all right? So pick a weight that you can do, good form, you know, 10 to 15 reps. And I like kind of looking up, I'm looking forward and up, and I just pick a point on the ceiling and I stare at it because it helps me with my balance, guys. And now if you're doing this and you start to feel some pressure in your lower back, all you need to do is bend your knees, just a tiny bit, just put a little bend in your knees 
and then you're going to feel that pressure in your lower back almost instantly go away. So that's, that's one way. Now, if you can't do that movement, if your shoulders are just so messed up, this is a great alternative exercise. And a lot of the videos I shoot where, we're, where, we're, where we are working our shoulders, I show you guys how to do lateral raises. That's my go-to exercise at the gym, my favorite exercise. Even though I have good shoulders, I still love this movement. Now you won't be able to do much weight, guys. That's okay, pick a weight that you can do for 10 to 15 reps, depending on whether you're a beginner or more advanced, all right? And this is all I'm doing here. I'm not swinging and I'm controlling that weight up and down. So you guys get to pick which shoulder exercise you do. All right, I'm kind of catching my breath here. And we're not showing you every single second of me just standing around catching my breath. That's why we're kind of cutting and then coming back. But all I'm doing is, 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 you know, I would say catching my breath probably three quarters of the way back to normal. So I'm still not fully recovered like I was just sitting around watching TV, all right? But my heart rate is a little bit elevated, okay? I'm breathing a little harder than normal, but I'm not killing myself. That's not what this workout is, all right? All we're doing is we're trying to build some muscle and hit each muscle group in our body and not spend a lot of time doing it. This is a quickie in and out type workout, okay? I don't want this to take more than 15 minutes, all right? So guess what? Let's hit some abs with my favorite ab exercise, bicycle cross crunch. So you gotta hit both legs for that to be one rep, okay? So here we go, I'm just gonna do 10 reps. All right, so we start and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, Ugh. catch your breath. Now, you don't have to take a full minute in between each exercise. Some of these exercises are easier. They're smaller muscle groups, and hence you just won't, you won't burn as much oxygen when you're doing your 10 or 15 reps. And therefore, you don't need as much time to transition to the next exercise. But once again, don't push it, okay? I don't want you to be out of breath when you get to the next exercise. I want you to be able to put plenty of intensity and effort into it, which you wouldn't be able to do if you were still gasping for breath, okay? All right, so here we go. While I'm down here on the ground, we'll move on to the sixth exercise, and we gotta hit our triceps, guys. All right, we did our biceps earlier, so let's do two arm. So we're gonna be doing them simultaneous skull crushers. Now, this is another one of those exercises where you can't lift much weight. Otherwise, you'll use really bad form and you won't really feel it, okay? So pick a relatively lightweight guy. And this is, this is the form right here. So I'm letting the flanges of the dumbbell come down just to the side of my head, basically to my ears, okay? Some of you guys could even bring them down and you can maybe feel the flanges just barely touch your shoulders. And I'm trying my best to keep my elbows locked in place. Now they're gonna move around a little bit, but try to keep your elbows in one place and you're just simply straightening your arm and then squeezing it at the top so you can feel those triceps really flex at the top of the movement here. And I'm not swinging the weights up, I'm slowly raising them just by extending my triceps and trying to flex them, okay? We're almost there, guys. That's six exercises, There's only one more to go. All right, give yourself a little breath. <clears throat> I'm not particularly gassed after doing that because that's a pretty small muscle group, right? So now we're gonna move on to the final muscle group, okay? And that's our back. So I'm gonna have you guys doing two arm bent over rows. Now, most of the time when I demonstrate rows for you guys, it's one arm, okay? 
And when you do one arm, you brace your upper body with your off hand. So when you do that, your lower back is really not supporting much weight at all. And, and because of that, you can usually row a really heavy dumbbell, okay? But we're not doing that, all right? Two arm simultaneous row. So now when you bend over, there's nothing supporting your upper body except your back, all right? So make sure you stick your butt out and keep your back straight. And keeping your back straight is gonna feel like you have an arched back. Feel like you're arching your back. It won't be, okay, trust me. You can even do this in front of a mirror to see what it looks like versus what it feels like, all right? So stick your butt out and feel like you're arching your back. And I bend over to about right here and we're just gonna row simultaneously. So those dumbbells are coming up and back towards my waist. Keep that butt sticking way out and you're gonna feel like your back, back is arched, but in reality, I got a nice straight back. So 10 reps for you beginners, 15 for the more advanced guys, and really focus on that form, guys. Man, guess what? Seven exercise, one circuit. That should have only taken me about seven and a half minutes. All right, shouldn't have taken very long. I'm gonna rest the same amount of time. All right, I'm just barely gonna catch my breath and we're gonna start all over with exercise number one, which were those goblet squats. So I'm not gonna force you guys to watch me do those same seven exercises again, but trust me, two circuits of those seven exercises will give you a pretty good pump. You're gonna feel it. So that means you have to lift a relatively heavy weight because we're not running through this. We're not, we're not sprinting from exercise to exercise. I just want you guys to feel the muscle contraction. I want you to feel that pump, okay? That's what the goal for today's workout is. Work the muscles, don't kill yourself, all right? Stimulate those muscle fibers so that we will be building muscle tonight when we're resting and sleeping. Okay, so pretty straightforward workout. Shouldn't take you long at all, okay? And then do us a favor, all right? Check check below this video right now and hit that like button for us, okay? I'm trying to spread the word about this great YouTube channel that we have. Share this, hit that share button, subscribe to the channel because Gary and I are cranking out videos every single week for you guys and you don't want to miss any of these things. So Gary and I would really appreciate it if you helped us spread the good word about Live Anabolic and this fantastic YouTube channel. And then finally, guys, you know what I'm going to say. You got to stick with it and never give up on yourself.